So here we are in the bunker. This is the actual part of the game that I really enjoy. You know, a lot of people don't like being in the bunker. They find it hard. But it's all about technique and, and setup, especially in the bunker. And here we are, we have a short shot. Um, you know, in today's game, all the pin positions are cut really close to the edges of the green. And if you miss it on the wrong side, you, you've got to be able to hit the ball out of the bunker nice and high and create some spin. And the way to do that in bunker play, again, is to use that back edge. Uh, use the bounce and by doing that the best way to you know open up and expose that bounce is by changing your setup again you want the ball really forward you almost want the shaft of the ang uh, of the club leaning backwards um, that will really expose that back edge again when you get that ball forward and the shaft leaning backwards that promotes a really open club face you know you want to rotate and get this club as open as possible uh, and if you want to create spin and speed, uh, spin with a bunker shot, you've got to hit it very hard. And uh, by opening up, you're glancing across the blade and you can hit it as hard as you want and create more spin. Let's try and hit one. Nice and forward, shaft leaning back. Open that blade and hit it hard. And the ball will come out and hit nice and softly and uh, won't release you know you can really pitch it right by the hole that way and you know you're able to control it so let's just hit another one again you want nice thin divots that's a one of the secrets in bunkers nice thin divots as soon as you see a thick deep bunk uh, uh, divot that means someone's used that front edge too much and you're not going to be able to create spin that way nice and forward handle leaning back Hit it nice and hard and the ball comes up and hits really nicely and softly. You want uh, as much loft as possible. Um, you know, the more loft, the harder you can hit it and the more spin you can create. So um, the only time I'd ever use uh, something with less loft is if I want to hit a longer bunker shot, maybe something that runs a bit more. Here with a short pin, you want to get it up and, and stopping as quickly as possible. So 60 degrees is the way to go. So I think as, as a young, kid you know i always enjoyed the challenges of short game you know whether it was bunkers chipping pitch and run putting i think you're always a little bit less uh, you know you have less fear when you're young and i think that kind of just kept up with me as i as i got older obviously i've always felt like uh, i was a good bunker player i felt very accomplished felt very confident and that's half the battle you know getting into the sand and realizing that uh, you, you are good you're going to get it up and down and, and that's one of the hurdles to, to kind of get over is the, first of all, you've got to believe in yourself. And, um, you know, obviously my record, on, uh, you know, in the, in the sand for the last few years has been uh, pretty good. I first started at a place called Hazelmere and uh, it was probably, you know, my brother obviously played with me, uh, another couple friends. And we used to, you know, play a lot of short game, uh, just games, you know. We would pretend to be sevy sometimes, to get in the terrible positions, you know, plug lies on the side of banks, you know, trying to get it up and down because, you know, he was just known for that flair and that um, way of getting up and down. And we would just imitate that. And uh, I think just through putting yourself in tricky situations like that and trying to get up and down and focusing on, on short game, uh, you know, really you know, served me well up until this day. You know, I've become uh, known as one of the best short game players in the world. And I think uh, a lot of that had to do with, you know, all that, that time and effort that I put in as a, as a young, young boy. I think good short game will, will, will take you a long way.